Aloha, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Prince John Internet TV. Here with you, sharing some more of my thoughts. Imagine that there is a group of people gathered around and grabbing brilliant white light and smiling joyously, similar to people sitting around a fire pit and just grabbing those spears of white light and just beaming each other and everything. Now don't feel stressed when others pay attention to me. I don't feel stressed because what they do is not my business and they do not own my body. My will is stronger than theirs. They will not control me and I will not try to control them. Why talk to someone if they don't believe what I do? Because I want to become like another person. That's why I would talk to them. Perhaps I like their work and I like something about them. Well, if I could focus on that, maybe they're good at managing money, then maybe I could talk to them about that. Um, in other words, if I don't have any spiritual brothers or sisters around, at least I can act friendly with others and try to focus on something that both of us are mutually interested in. Talk, um, don't talk to women except for greeting them in public or doing business with or being with or be with friends because they think differently and talk differently because the only reason would would to be is because I wanted to be with them. That's the only reason that I would be inclined to talk to a woman. Um, and um, you know, if if you're having a hard time or if you you feel like you might be in a seductive situation, imagine that person with a missing leg or cancer, or imagine them if they were old, would you still want to talk to them? That way you can go beyond the animal mind and use logic and rationale to realize the meaning of marriage and what it takes being patient and being strategic in order to avoid uh, a short-term relationship. I'm not trying to get attention or impress anyone else except for your soulmate. I am always completely successful right now. No more with the, oh, I feel bad for you, or I wish you were here, um, you know, when, when thinking about other people uh, who are not family. Uh, focus on your soulmate. You know, don't, don't feel like you owe something to other people. Did somebody say that you were foolish or couldn't do something? The only thing I know to do is follow my feelings. And if it feels uncomfortable, then I think about um, what my options are. Also, I don't try to put things or other people in front of, you know, get in between me and my soulmate. And. Visualize enemies smiling so as to create positive vibration and protect yourself. And when you receive gifts, remember, they can contain a certain energy, even inanimate objects. Remember to just beam them with light. Create your whole environment protected with shield of joy and peace and, and just what you want in your life. Create that around you, your immediate environment, and the people you talk with, if possible. It, you know, and treat every person you see like an important person and beam them with light. Imagine them smiling, you know, create create that. And quiet the mind and breathe and feel the body knowing you have the answers. Ultimately, the answer is in feelings. And do it for her, not for anyone else or for him, whoever you're thinking about. Okay, so, you know, um, in a sense I'm really alone until I'm united with my soulmate 
and we may interact with different people and for the rest of our lives, but ultimately it will be just her and I. And I want to be myself and her to be herself and for us to truly enjoy each other. Alright, so... But until I know what I want and know who I am, my interests and my goals in life, I shouldn't start a soulmate relationship because I won't know if they have the same interests as me. Um, instead of people referring to me as a king, I prefer they refer to me as a spiritual doctor, such as when people refer to others as doctor. Um, like Dr. John, and I think everyone should treat each profession as, as equal importance, like Plumber John, and people should be paid more equally or the same. Um, you know, I believe in a little different type of society um, where everyone just tries their best, and and like if the energy that somebody puts into something. I mean, there are a lot of variables, just some thoughts out loud. And remember, I don't have to feel good all the time. I can allow myself to be, to relax or be upset and make certain that I have the space and room and only people that I can trust. And trust is a result of common fundamental belief about the most important things in life, such as dietary preferences, culture, relationship standards, work ethics, etc. It was it was difficult to want to have a mate and rather than have fancy things, but once you see what it's like to be to be in uh, heaven on earth with your mate, um, by watching her and I interact, or maybe there's somebody else who's already united in their soulmates, but when you're around that energy, even if it's like your your mother and father, and you know they're so close together, that love energy, you know, stay close to that because it's genuine. And if you're interested in a woman, okay, here's my strategy. Um, talk, try to talk to the, the one of her male guardians or her friends. Um, and tell her that you're interested in her and, you know, um, tell her that, you know, you're wondering if she's interested in you and if you'd like, to, if she'd like to learn more about you and vice versa. And because talking directly to the person, man or woman, would suggest that you were trying to seduce them. Um, rather, go through indirect and impersonal channels, such as talking to people close to her. Um, or if necessary, if there's nobody you can trust that you know but her, talk to her via email or something. That way you're not in an, in an environment that, that can cause, you know, lust to, to prevail not, and not logic and long-term thoughts such as, you know, what will you be with the rest of your life? I mean, you know, do you really think a relationship starts, a life, you know, a marriage starts in, like, a bar? I mean, how can you create a strong relationship with somebody if you don't know a lot about them and you're just doing it based off of physical attraction. Okay, here's another thought. Uh, wait one second here. Okay, another thought is perhaps 5% of people are in a dark place, so be advised. Um, um, they may be rude or criminals, so maybe they could use help. Even if you just smile and greet them, then give some, give them some privacy as well, and maybe offer them what you can afford to be charitable, perhaps with food. And also be careful because they, they might be substance abusers. So not all people are in the right mind. So keep an eye out for those people, and avoid certain hours of the day and places and being alone in unsafe locations. Bottom line, I fight for my wife, and I encourage you to fight for who, who you want to. I'm not certain who she is, but I'm usually focused on one woman at any given time. That's why I wear this ring here. It's, you might describe it as an engagement ring, suggesting that I'm not available. 
Um, and of course I'd take it off if I'm no longer interested in that person and interested in somebody else, but just like an engagement, you know, wh whoever it is, um, until such a time I find out that either she doesn't like me or vice versa. You know, I wouldn't like any woman who didn't like me. Um, let's see. What else? Um, if you're nervous about doing something, do some light work and, and, and you know, think before you act. But beyond, even going beyond thinking, it's using the light, right? Um, people may not always be reliable, but it, it, the energy in the universe, I believe, can show signs and guide me to places as long as I am connected it, to it using light work. In other words, I may not be able to trust anybody right now, but I need to be able to trust myself to be able to trust that the light work is effective at making sure that my basic needs are met and that I have a purpose and that I'm going in the direction taking steps towards my soulmate. Like for me personally, it's going to entail me um, you know, basically raising the world up to the, so their first chakra is complete, um, so everyone in the world has their needs met, um, before I can truly have an ecstatic sexual experience with my, uh, soulmate, you know, I, I don't feel like I'll be able to have incredible sex, basically, without, um, uh, helping without helping, without making sure that everyone in the world has at least their basic needs met. Um, and with God, this is my conclusion for this, with God and with self-responsibility, I believe all things will improve drastically and pre people will get along better and everything. So to conclude this discussion, I'm going to have us do a quick light work projection. So let's hold our hands like this and just visualize a brilliant ball of white light in your hands right now. Okay? Imagine you're holding like flashlight, a brilliant star in your hand. And now throw it all around your room, watch it fly around your room and and just spin around and then watch it go into near your feet and there's like a bright white light near your feet and and now it's shining it's it's lighting you up and you just feel this bright beam of light coming towards you you allow it to go into your heart you're connected and that beam is connected to everything else like in the matrix movies and and now just take your hand like this and and shine beam around the room beam around and anybody you see in proximity imagine they're smiling and they see the beam of white light that you shine and and then hold that they watch them imagine that they come and they grab some of that light and and then uh, now last but not least imagine the person that you are interested in that you think might be the one well, go ahead and see them smiling in a place that they would t typically be and and then beam the brilliant white light just shine okay shine brightly watch them holding that light and uh, I'd like to show you some of my new jewelry here see that that is my five star crystal representing the best that is the crown that represents royalty being royal this this is the window to heaven some jewels got my watch on got my ring right here this represents freedom fight for freedom and that of course represents you know what
Aloha.